Uh, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is still the end of the previous turn. We are doing a mod blitz, so uh, it should be fun. Um, we're, we're doing it with the other players too, I haven't really talked about them, but uh, they're mostly Patreon subscribers. One of them is uh, Sakane. There's only four people, so it's really small. Just going to be a fun thing to do on a uh, Wednesday afternoon. Uh, we got a new turn here. But I assume Sakane is going to be uploading his perspective. I forget which nation he's playing. We can check, actually. Let's go scroll up real quick. Sakane is playing Knoss, so he's playing the little Minotaur, so that's kind of cool. Um, the other things that we've had said... Um... <laughs> yeah, so relative to their height, it would be 42 miles an hour, so why do my guys run so damn slow? So many legs, of course they're fast, but my guys go at speed 7 to 8. That's kind of funny. Okay. Um, we didn't really watch battles, though. Here we go. Let's watch these battles. And this is why I love centaurs. We probably should have put them in a line formation. Because we get hit a little, but we don't die. That's kind of a nice thing. And then down here, uh, archers plus centaurs. Ah, centaurs are so good. Slave centaurs are maybe the best kind of centaurs, because they're cheap. I can just crank them out. Now, where do I want to go? Do I really want to fight heavy cav? This is looking kind of easy, but I've been fooled before. Fool me once, fool me twice, won't fool me three times. Do we find a neighbor? We found Sakane. Um... I think we kind of have to move here. I mean, we could move here, too. This is going to be... He's going to fight me for this. I think I'm going to leave him this. Uh, let's see if he's messaging me. No. I think with this one, I want them to split up. So I think here we're actually going to do hold and attack closest. I don't know who's going to win, but we'll find out. Do we lose anybody? Wait, whoops. Oh, we lost two. That's kind of shitty. Well, this was way scarier earlier. Summer, late summer, which means everything's heat one. So this will not be crossable next turn. I don't know if I really want to fight over that. I think we're just going to clear out my cap circle. Question, though, then becomes, do I want to... Yeah. Do I want to merge armies? And I think the answer... Maybe the answer is yes. I think we're going to be a little safe. Because I'm probably going to be getting... I don't really know what's up here. This is a kind of hard expansion. So I think we're just going to do that. Like this. We should fix this into the line, though. Okay, move these a little off center like that. And um, let's tell everybody I've got things on a ten, ten turn timer. Put a Okay. Um, so I think that's about it. Now, do we want to... I think this guy's going to stay here. I think I might want to start just making one of these guys every turn. 
Now I've got my basic research out, or my basic research kind of cranking. I might get one more and then we might switch to the priests. Um, can we make any more? Oh man, we can make more. Okay, we're still just barely tapping on our resources. Once we get this, we're going to be able to make a shit ton. And I like making a shit ton. Okay, here's the thing though, guys. There's like a 30% chance this expansion party dies. No, like a 50% at least. And possibly, like, my prophet could die? I don't know. The thing is, actually, so it's a sermon of courage, sermon of courage, a blessing. Let's zap the shit out of those guys. Yeah, I don't think I... Do I want a line? Fine. I think that's it. So, uh, let's go ahead and keep looking at the nations. We didn't really finish with the bull nation. Um, so they've got nature, holy... They've got blood, which I think is kind of cool. The The mythology around Minotaurs is kind of interesting. It was, they were supposed to kind of live in a labyrinth, and they were fed, uh, I think, virgins every day by the keepers of the labyrinth. Um, I think I saw that, like, heard about that in a podcast about, like, the Black Dahlia. Which was ridiculous, by the way. It was called The Roots of Evil. If any of you are into podcasts, check that thing out. That is a crazy podcast. It's still uploading. It's not finished. So this is like a blood powerhouse. I dig it. Minotaurs, what a cool nation. Uh, let's get my new turn. We got some battles. And we got a famous hero, which hopefully means we didn't die. Smack. There's that line formation doing good work. Okay, I bet you we lost one guy. One guy. Look at that, Dominion's intuition. Alright. This one is going to be dicey. I think our prophet's going to be the decider here. Yep. Look at that stun. Oh, but we're routing. Oh, but we're... Yes! Get wrecked, kitties. This is exactly what I wanted. Our guys ran, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do it. You gotta go for that last province. That's what we did. Because we are doers. Unrest plus 24. I don't like that one bit. Okay, we got one guy here. Okay, this has got our name on it. Oh man, that's beautiful. So we've got like all this area closed off. I wish I could finish it and push in it. I can't. Okay, we gotta start thinking about, we're really late actually. Early fall, we need to get our first fort up. So what does that mean? It means we need to switch to budget shit. This guy. We can totally kill all that shit. I could go kill this too, probably. Okay, so I think you're going to go here. Well, I click. I'm going to get that. I don't really need time. I, yeah. Slaves are low in upkeep. Do I have anything else that's a slave? No. I think I have to be on a coast to get them, because I definitely remember in a test game it kind of working better than that. I think what we're going to do, like, this guy is going to go carry part of these around. You're going to go up here, and we'll consolidate back inward. Though I kind of... Can I... You can't make it all the way down here, can you? No. So this is going to be a little contentious getting down this way. But I kind of would like... Oh, man. I kind of would like to. Yeah, fuck that. All right? Uh, I do want to get another one of these guys. But now the question is, how am I ever going to get a freaking fort up? So, first step to getting a fort up is we need a commander. This guy actually is fine to do it. This actually is a fine province. This is my highest income province on this side of the map. I think this is where it's going to be. I just need the money. I need the money, honey. Um, how am I going to liberate that money? I think we're going to chill out on recruitment. Okay. 
Or we could theoretically start it this turn if I just gave up a turn. Do I want to do that? Give up a turn? Start it? Let's check. I think we're going to do it, guys. So we're also going to need some PD here. Okay, and then what can we get? We can't get you. Can we get anything important? Not really. Um, we can get... We can maybe get an aristocrat if I chill out a little bit on this. Okay, we're sight searching. We didn't find anything before, did we? No. This is, so okay, I, I didn't even check these guys out. Some of them are better at sight searching than us. Oh, there's a ten percent chance to get around. But this is an air two. I don't think I I think this is special. I don't want him to die. And not just like the normal variety of special, like pretty damn special. We've got an ocean here I would really like to do. This is coastal too, so it's possible I can get Cyclopses here. And then maybe this will be my next fort. And if I have two forts on this coast, that will probably be legit. Very, very legit. Um, let's go ahead and get my turn in. Yeah, I think this is the best we're going to do. We're starting fort construction. Searching. It's not a horrible start. Um, we've got a turn. We found a magic site. A sky split out. Good. That means we can start getting out quills. All right. We're getting a little split up. Okay, not for long. Archers don't do good against centaurs. But we're only expanding one per turn, so not great. Oh, we found the centipedes. Blimey centipedes. Now they are probably like in a cave or I don't know where. More undead. I think we'll chew through these. I'm not actually that worried about it. Okay. He can make it all the way out here, which is fine. Do I really have... Did I put four in? Oh, he's leading. As he, that's actually a cool thing about having these guys lead, lead expansion parties. Shit. Yeah, he can just go chill out here. Um. This is a little close for comfort. He must be like down here. It's fine. I'll just take this. He can have that. Well, no, I moved down here to get all this shit. I'm not. If this is Kanas. This is going to be like a really long way around for him to get to, unless he goes through here. <sighs> Wolf tribe shit. Those are like very killy. I think we're going to have to come back for those. Oh yeah, look at all those. And then let's start getting these. Um... Okay, here's where we found the sky split oak. We're gonna move up this way. And I think I'm feeling pretty good with it. You know, we're not quite there in terms of PD. I'd like to get six, especially with a little misfortune. I think it's worth it, guys. Be. I'm not gonna be a penny wise and a pound foolish here. But with that, we'll be able to push another expansion party up this way or pull them. We'll probably more likely pull them down this way and then go plow into that. Um, eventually, we're going to have to get one of these four recruitment points. So maybe actually we start on it this turn. Do I have enough? Oh, 360, I don't. Maybe next turn. Whoops. Okay, so we have a, a decent... The, the way we're going to use our Earth Income is we get this Alteration spell, which is Pillar of the City, but we need one of our uh, commanders 
from our capital, who's super expensive to do that, but he will be coming up and he'll be making a pillar of the city and then we'll have another little research monkey place. Um, we're not making any of these guys yet. We're too poor. Very poor. Um, let's take a look at what the morale of these guys is like. Wait, you're supposed to be a taskmaster. These are slaves. We'll find out. Okay. Wait, but this guy should do it, no? Led by Taskmaster, experience bonus one. Doesn't he also have good morale? Like, he's a good leader, 80. Plus one for up to three squads. Why is it not giving him... Oh, is it the line? No. Okay, we've got some battles here. No bumps, though, so we're kind of doing good there. Okay, no word yet. Yeah, we're going to crush these undead. Problem fighting undead, though, is they don't rout, so you have to kill all of them. We didn't really hit it square, so one of my flanks got kind of crushed. That actually... Okay, we did not crush them. I used the wrong words there. We barely won. Lost well, seven of our guys, that was like a big, big dent. So that's the problem with undead, like humans will start breaking and then you can kind of clean them up, but undead they just fight to the very end. The frick? These guys are huge. The mother of centipedes, this is pretender god. Uh, don't kill me. Um, that is a cool freaking graphic, though. I love that. Okay, so now we have to... I, w I do want to start building another fort here pretty soon, so actually let's patrol. He can patrol down a little bit of the unrest. Um, we'll come smack into this. Um, but we'll join him with these guys, and... Okay. Something like this, and we should be good to go. This fort is getting along. It's two months away, which means we're our timing's not going to be perfect. Ideally, I'd be moving in a mage this turn, but whatever, it's going to be a little slow. Um, I think we'll actually patrol here for a hot second. I would fight him over that. I'm not going to. Yeah, I think we're going to patrol, because next turn I'll move another expansion group down this way. I mean, why play Pangea when you can just enslave Pangea and then play them that way? Hmm? Um, okay, we've got a shit ton of unrest here, so I'm actually going to bump that up to 10. And then next turn he'll be able to take over Palisade Construction. It's already up to 13, 19. Do I have anything else? I need to look at my PD, make sure that didn't happen again. I hope he just got there this turn. Okay. But yeah, this guy's going to be able to move down in the next turn. And then we'll converge and then attack here. Uh, we could bum rush somebody. I'm not sure who we should bum rush. But I feel like with our centaurs, we're pretty strong. Like, I don't think PD's going to offer too much resistance. We probably need to send out another Sight Searcher, though. Do I have... Yeah, maybe we just do the air one. Um, I think we're good. Conjuration, we're almost finished with Conjuration 3. That'll be nice. Uh, brings us down to Construction 4. Not sure. Let's... Yeah, probably. 
Um, this is probably like our worst matchup in terms of what our current unit composition, just because we don't really get through their high protection. If we switch up to these guys, obviously that could shift around quite a bit. We don't have great... We have actually really good protection with these guys. I, I, I bet you these guys could thug the shit out of their little centipedes. Uh, I, I do need to kill this too. But that's going to be like a pretty low priority, I think. Um, this is going to be my next... Wait, no. Why is this so shitty? Why do you have no population? Oh, there's something I should mention, in full disclosure. Um, when I tried test playing this nation, I just, like, clicked through turns super duper fast and I didn't pay attention or read anything. And, uh, like, the entire population across my whole empire died, and it spammed out a bunch of events that said you didn't pay attention to the events. And I was like, oh, I guess I didn't. Uh, but yeah, I had like a hundred income. I was like, oh. That's not good. So we're gonna pay attention to the events, boys. Um, I don't think we're going to be ahead of the events. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, this event's coming. We should, you know, do something in advance of the event happening so that we don't get screwed. No, I'm not going to do it like that. I think this, yeah, this is Ur. So let's take a look at the craziest of all the nations, which is uh, you, sorry. Yeah, it's a bunch of body parts. Um, they have very, very poor magic access. Um, mostly they just do a bunch of kicking. This guy, they can break into blood, and they have some kind of cool stuff they can do with blood. They have, like, an Earth-1 guy with no head, but it's got a smiley face on his chest. Um, Forge bonus minus one. Uh, they've got this guy, who's this enormous kind of titan. They promotes into something. I'm not sure what it promotes into, but it sounds really cool. Um, and then they've got this guy, who's, like, their top-level mage, which is Earth-1. <laughs> They have some cool national spells they do. Um, I have no idea how to expand with them, so it'll be really funny to see what they're doing. Um, and the guy that we got to sub, like, sub, not sub, because he started from the beginning, but to, like, come in at the last minute, he's playing you, which is, like, the craziest of all the nations. Okay, get wrecked. They should run. Uh, I bet we lost one. Nope, none. I was gonna say none, but then I backed out. It was too weak. Water gems. Province income minus 10. Brick. Uh-oh. <laughs> so we found a pretender. Um. Wait, this was... Okay, so you is now fighting with uh, Sakane, which is hilarious, really. Let's check the chat. Knoss is getting up in my business. Okay, there we go. Uh, I didn't know your cap was there. Feel free to take back your cap ring. Well, this is awkward. I assumed you were rushing me, so say hello to my god. Here's a cheery fellow. So it seems. Okay. So his cap must be, like, probably, like, right up here. And then he probably got too close, and then he attacked. So there's the Rock of Ages. This guy is a trampler with a huge amount of HP and protection. And it's kind of hilarious. Say hello. Um, so we're searching. We're one turn away from this finishing. So I think what we're going to do here is we could preach. This guy's going to take over fort construction. Actually, we should probably get the unrest to go away. That's the highest value, I think, activity we're going to be able to do at the moment. We'll just wait here uh, while we finish. Uh, we're going to site search with him. Now here we've got a bunch of centaurs, which are going to come down this way. Uh, I'm not really sure how... I don't really want to go to war with these guys, but they're kind of... They're in my business just a little bit too much. So I think we're going to prepare for war with the centipedes. And I'm sure they're thinking that... I'm not sure, but I, I guess they're thinking the same thing, you know? I mean, you never know, but my assumption is they are. Um, okay, so what is this guy going to do? Actually, if these, this guy should patrol... This guy should preach, or come pick up the centaur. Maybe we pick up the centaur. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, here we can converge. 
Now, notice these didn't stack. We only got four PD this turn. Let's go ahead and bump it up to six. We'll leave one guy here. Uh, I think we'll go take that and this, and then we'll go to war. I, I kind of like finishing off expansion before rushing into war. We don't have any flyers. No flying nations, which I'll just say is nice. Um, now, where am I going to build my next freaking fort? Hopefully this is good, because right now I've kind of got shit lands to build on. I definitely need another fort. And this is probably going to be our last turn of recruiting, like where we just max out these guys. We do need to think about going in here. We're actually pretty close to my pretender coming online too. Uh, and we don't really have a ton of our required research yet. We need construction so that she can go kill all these people underwater. She's going to need some poison resistance. Maybe like a ring of regeneration. Um, I kind of actually need to build a fort in a mountain province, so maybe do I have any of those? Like here. I'm not sure. Well, these guys are going to have to go marry up over this way. But yeah, I mean, from here, I think we might just take these. Not really sure. I don't really... I, I feel a little unconfident. But potentially we can catch him in a PD trap, especially if we get the initiative. And actually next turn would be a good turn to attack three provinces. We could get here, here, or here, and here, and here. So that might be a good thing to do. Now potentially it could all kind of go up in a horrible blaze of failure too, so you never really know. I feel like we've got enough of these guys too. Can we get any of these? Uh, animal all? I don't think these guys are... The centipedes are not animals, are they? For a second I thought that was the animal tag. I was about to be like, oh! But no. No animals when you need them. You'd think some of these guys would be freaking animals, but no. We have an animal, a blimey cow. Um, I think we're going to hang tight. I don't think we're going to, well, I don't know. I don't know where his cap is, but I know. I'm not very happy about him having all of this. Like this, that should be mine. Militia leader. Yeah, we'll see. Do I really want this guy? Sacred. Troll bonus. Okay, it's just me and her. Or me and you. Mm, I think we're going to save money. Get some of our low upkeep researchers. We're going to need, I think, those guys soon, though. Anything here getting terribly close to... Oh, that's unrest. Nothing super close to 19 yet, aside from this one, which I'm pretty sure we already got the guy out. Next turn, and I think this will be the last turn for this episode. 
no battles, but we have a geyser. Which... Water and fire. Nice. So this militia leader has been here for a long time, so it's probably got like 20 PD. So we'll need a fair number of little horses to, to smush it. Um, some of these in sparse line round two. Okay, something like that. I can't really remember what happened over here, but let's go take this, because I don't think I'm going to go to war quite yet. Um, we are going to finish constructing this. I don't have any money, so let's turn off all of our expensive shit. And let's start getting a fort. Uh, we also need to make a lab. making some... What's our research at? 78. Kind of shitty. Let's pick these guys up and go over here. We're patrolling. This guy actually probably should move. We'll have him move over here. No, actually, he can just wait. He'll patrol one more time. We've got a fair amount of unrest. Oh, my dog is going freaking nuts. So I think that's it, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to go yell at my dog.